Hey kids, this is Biston Fly here, hope you're well. Now textile motorcycling suits are absolutely fantastic wear for all year round motorcycling, but not all textile suits are created the same. Stick around and stay tuned to this video and I'll let you know why I think this, the Oxford Mondale suit, is better than most. Okay, so uh, what makes the uh, Oxford Mondale different to other textile suits then? Well, in short, lamination. Uh, normally, what you buy, what you get the more cheaper uh, textile suits is what I call a layered construction, where you have uh, initially a, an outer jacket, then you'll have a waterproof membrane that you zip in, and then you'll have a thermal lining. So that's all very well and good. That means that uh, you know in the summer you can zip out the thermal lining. If you don't think it's going to rain, you can zip out the waterproof bit, uh, and then you can open the vents and so on and use it in, on the hottest day. So that's fine for all sorts of weather conditions, but it's a little bit impractical. Uh, you know, there are some times of year when you don't know whether it's going to be hot or cold or whether it's going to be dry, and that's where these laminated jackets come in. Now the difference in the construction with this, the Oxford Mondial, is uh, that, it, as I say, it does have this laminated construction. What I mean by that is the waterproof membrane is actually built into the jacket outer itself so it doesn't have a waterproof membrane it's actually laminated this is a clever material one of those ones that lets uh, lets um, you breathe within the material but actually uh, actually is waterproof so um, so you don't have to worry about carrying a waterproof oversuit you don't have to make guesses about whether you need to put zip in uh, the waterproof liner or anything else like that you just wear this one jacket and you're going to be good for all weathers and all conditions so uh, that's what makes this difference and the other thing is this is those sorts of jackets that are laminated are usually very very expensive this however isn't it's great value and I'll get to that in a minute okay let me talk you through some of the features and functions Okay, so some of the features and functions then of the Mondial jacket. Uh, first off, what I would say, I don't know if you noticed when I was wearing it earlier, but it has a very neat uh, neck connection here, uh, which is adjustable. So you can actually move the press stud along this zip bit to make that the right size for you. Little, little thing, but it just makes the thing comfortable. Uh, it's got lots of this reflective piping on it, which uh, you may have seen when I did the intro. It shows up great in the dark, even though it's a grey jacket in this case. Uh, it's got reflective bits, so that's brilliant. Uh, it's got loads of massive pockets as well, with uh, proper fold-over waterproof um, flaps so you don't get anything wet that's in the pockets and it's got inside pockets as well similarly big it's got proper YKK waterproof zips as well um, and the other thing that I really like about this is the ventilation feature if you unzip here at the front you can pull this up it snaps onto there and bingo you've got this uh, ventilation pad that faces the airflow I think that's a really a really nice feature you've got adjusters on the arms as well to make the fit right you've got extra ventilation on the sleeves uh, you've got these little concertina bits to make them nice and comfortable and that is one of the things I would say about this jacket it's very very comfortable it's lightweight when you wear it much lighter than those um, layered jackets that I talked about at the start um, and it's very very comfortable uh, as I say and light as well as as well as waterproof uh, what else to tell you about it um, it's got a belt as well uh, so you can adjust it for your waist size now the travel oh, and the other thing of course I must say about it is it comes with um, CE approved armor in the elbows and in the shoulders which I've left in what it doesn't come with is a decent back protector so you might want to add one of those I've added my own back protector into the pocket that's in it. The trousers, same laminate waterproof uh, construction, so there's no waterproof liner you have to take out. There's just the, the inner, the thermal inner that's in, in here at the moment, which of course you take out in summer. Uh, and again, like the jacket, it's got the reflective parts. It's got, again, the great um, ventilation feature uh, and the little extendy bits. And it comes with um, CE-approved knee armour as well. And that's adjustable height, which is a great feature. I've had loads of jackets in the past, or trousers rather, where you can't actually get the knee armour to fit in the right spot. And these, not an issue, because it moves up and down. So uh, so there we go, that's the trousers. Oh, the other thing, they come with like braces and a bib attachment that zips on. I've unzipped it, but if you're somebody that's uh, maybe a bit portly with a beer gut and you find your trousers slip down, you won't have an issue with these because they come with built-in braces if you want them. All right, so that's all very well on features and functions. How's it actually fare on the motorcycle? Well, I've been riding with these now for about six months and uh, I've ridden them for literally thousands of miles. Let's go and see how they fare in wet and dry and hot and cold conditions. Well, in hot temperatures, the jacket and trouser combo has uh, quite a lot of ventilation options. So for a start on the sleeves, you can open up these bits here that I've got. And at the moment, I'm riding uh, in Norway on my summer tour and it's been up towards 30 degrees most of the time we've been here so far. Today is early-ish in the morning, it's before 10 o'clock and it's 22 degrees already, it's a hot day. So I've got all the vents open on the front, I've got the vents open on the trousers, I've got the vents open at the back of the jacket and I've got a bit of airflow through and uh, it works really well. In hot temperatures you keep you know, relatively cool. So um, it's one of those combos that actually works pretty well I think as an all-rounder. Keeps you nice and warm in the cold weather and in the hot weather as it's been really hot here which is mostly what I've tested on this trip in hot weather so far anyway it's uh, it's been just perfect nice and lightweight 
no worries about uh, rain coming because of the bonded surface that it's got. If there is rain later, which I'm sort of expecting, then I'm not going to have to crack out my oversuit while I'm on tour. And yeah, in hot temperatures, it works pretty well. Pretty pleased with that. So here I am on a tour of Norway. I'm just uh, south of the Arctic Circle. And uh, as you can see, the weather is absolutely appalling. See, Clement has been chucking it down for ages. Beautiful countryside that I'm in, but you really do need kit that works in uh, all weathers. And uh, so it's a great test for the Oxford jacket and trousers. It's the first time I've ridden actually with them. Um, with kit that actually has the waterproof layer bonded on as opposed to a separate layer. So it's a real advantage that uh, others in my tour have had to stop and put over jackets and things on. Whereas I've just kept the same jacket on, not had to worry, just zipped up the vents and I'm staying nice and dry. From a temperature point of view, the jacket feels nice and light. It seems to be uh, warm still, even though I'm actually, you know, the outside of the jacket is wet and trousers for that matter. No, I'm really pretty impressed with it. It's, uh, it seems like it might be one of those uh, bits of kit that caters for all weathers, both hot weather, with the vents open, and cold wet stuff it can cope with too. So the jacket works absolutely fine in hot summer's days then, as far as the ventilation and so on is concerned, and in the wet. What about on a cold wet day though? Well, here we are, some months later, in, uh, on a typical horrible November day. It's uh, pretty cold out there today, it's about uh, 6, 7 degrees centigrade. As you can see it's raining. It's the worst possible conditions to be riding in really. But I have to say I'm pretty glad to be wearing this Oxford kit because it, uh, it just works really well. I've been wearing it for months now and it seems in all, pretty much all conditions I've been happy with it. I mean it is very cold today and what I've done is I've got the uh, liners in the trousers you know the thermal liners uh, and that's it and then oh and then I've got my I've got some Oxford layers on I've got these sort of thermal under layers on as well and although these, these trousers look saturated they do not feel wet in the slightest on the inside so they're doing their job there same with the jacket uh, with that though I've not put the jackets own thermal lining in what I've done is what I do with all my jackets I've put an, uh, a separate puffer jacket under it just because I think a dedicated puffer jacket is always going to be warmer than any sort of liner. I did that with all my uh, previous textile jackets and I'll continue to do that. So I don't have the Oxford liner in, just the puffer jacket. And again, I've got uh, a thermal underlayer and I've got a t-shirt on. So that's it. So thermal, t-shirt, um, puffer jacket and then this jacket without its liner. It's a cold, wet day as you can see. I've got the heated grips on full blast. Not heated grips, heated gloves, sorry. But I have to say, I am absolutely toasty. Once again, I'm super impressed with this Oxford kit. For the money you pay, it seems there's not much that you can throw at it and it will be defeated. So yeah, really, really impressed with it in use. Warm and dry, what more do you need? Oh, and I'd add to that comfort as well. It is uh, without a doubt, uh, and by some margin, the most comfortable textile suit I've ever owned. I'm not just saying that, that is true. It's lightweight, it's comfortable, it's warm, it's dry. It's such an advantage to not have to worry about carrying wet weather gear. I won't be going back to a non-laminated jacket again in the future. It's been absolutely cracking. So, I know what you want to know. How much does this thing cost? Let me just get my notes. Uh, so the jackets, and this is where it's amazing value, the, the jacket itself is $249.99 and the trousers are $199.99, so 450 quid you can get, in my opinion, a great quality, properly waterproof, laminated textile kit for 450 quid. I think that's amazing. I'll stick links below um, as to where you can get it. You can get these at Sports Bike Shop, my favourite supplier. I don't have any uh, links with Sports Bike Shop, but uh, I, I find their service great and you can buy these there, of course, or all normal Oxford suppliers, say, links below. They don't just come in this, this is the grey. They also come in a couple of other colours. Uh, they come in tech green or grey, blue and red, apparently. Uh, but I quite like the grey. I think it looks understated and I think it looks great. Anyway, there we go. Lots of people have asked me all about the kit that I was wearing on my Norway tour. I recently rode in Spain with this as well. I've been riding, as I say, for the last six months in all weathers and conditions in this country, uh, and I found this to be great. So uh, there we go, recommended to the house. All righty, that's it for the uh, Oxford Mondial textile suit. I'm sure you're going to see this uh, a lot more in my videos. Hope that's been of some interest to you if you're in the market for one of these. All right, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Till then, this has been the Mr. Dunn Flyer. Cheerio. Go on, then. Come closer. And again. Up and down. Closer.
get, get in the shot and do it. Just to show that's in the